God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. This week's lesson is called Freedom in Christ. Our scriptures are found in the fifth chapter of Galatians, verses 1 through 17. In last week's lesson from Galatians chapter 4, we learned and understand that there will be those who want you to have salvation their way and would try to bully you to convince you that if righteousness is not obtained by their rules, rituals, and beliefs, that somehow they have the power, seniority, and say so to keep you out of justification. This lie, of course, is bondage and foolishness. Furthermore, hoping to earn salvation by trying to live the laws of Moses or by trying to follow the enslaving whims of man's ego and pride will snatch you from the very freedom that Christ paid the price to afford you. In Galatians chapter 5, Paul is pleading and making a strong case about the value of freedom in Christ as he points out the red flags of what will lead you back into darkness and the prison of false beliefs and false worship. It's interesting how none of us had the power to make ourselves free from sin and shame, and we're coming to God in ways of worship that are not pleasing to him. Yet, we do have a choice and the decision-making power to put ourselves right back into bondage. Paul urges the Galatia Gentile converts to Christianity to hold tight to what they have received and to resist wavering in the knowledge of how they received it. They already have salvation, so why believe that you now have to go back and be circumcised or jump through hoops to receive or keep what you already have? Paul does believe, however, that they will listen and stand strong in what he is teaching them. The same is true for us today. The gift of salvation came through the gift of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And we receive him and salvation by faith. All of these are gifts from God. He does this because of his love and grace. If we could have led ourselves out of bondage and the kingdom of Satan, we wouldn't need Jesus. When you get a chance, go back and read Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 and this will help you. Now those who were pushing the requirements of law, rituals, and circumcision were practicing these things before grace was ever even preached. And they still weren't saved until they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This type of self-made holiness is a form of persecution and should be avoided at all cost. God doesn't want us bound in the house of worship, nor bound by denominations, hatred, isms, clubs, cliques, or people who believe that they have a different or better path to salvation. The worship of religion and the need or addiction of it is something that has too many people bound. 
If you insist on continuing to try to earn the salvation that Jesus already died to give you, you are in danger of falling from grace. If it is God's will, we do plan to meet you here again next week to explore the Word of God in another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music this week, Sitar Beauty, was written and performed by J-Man at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.